lies Dhaka, East Pakistan. The Pakistan placed in Dhaka to permit study of cholera where the disease is to be carried from the ambulance to the bed. It is entirely possible in cholera to be reduced to such a state in as little as two hours. The cholera cot channels all stool into a receptacle calibrated for rapid reading. Urine is collected separately. A waterproof sheet with a sleeve attached to the hole serves to keep the cot dry and assure quantitative collection of the stool. As the patient is being placed on a cholera cot, the doctor can obtain an idea of his weakness, state of consciousness, and hydration. This is important in judging how much time can be spent. usually time for a brief bedside evaluation in most cholera patients before therapy must be begun. However, the person responsible and the loss of skin turgor signal dehydration. The rapid deeps of the radial pulse and blood pressure indicate poor circulation. The abdomen can be rigid and bowel sounds absent. The state should be noted. The heart sounds are faint and in very severe cases almost an hydration can be quickly accomplished via the femoral vein. Later, after circulation is restored, the arm can be used. In small children and infants, use of a scalp vein needle in the ex It must always be remembered that proper regulation of the rate of intravenous fluid replacement is the key to survival of all cholera patients. Oral tetracycline will save fluids and recovery time. Bedside observations help in the maintenance of a proper balance of intake and output. Acidosis, IV fluid subsequent to initial hydration, should match the stool output. Careful attention to fluid balance is necessary. Observation and treatment, recovery is the rule. The minimum tools to accomplish this are simple and available in many parts of the world. The most important and difficult requirement, however, is the need for medical 